Hi, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. This video is about the second most common mechanism of chronic disease, and it's called alkalosis. So I talk about acidosis a lot. It means uh, the pH of the blood is too low. You can have lactic acidosis, which has normal pH of the blood, but too much lactate crowding out oxygen. So what alkalosis is, is the pH of the blood is too high. And um, it's the second most common mechanism of chronic disease. You can give yourself alkalosis by deep breathing for too long. If you deep breathe excessively for two or three days, then you end up with heel pain. That means you have alkalosis. So another way you can get it is by eating too many plants. There's a lot of good minerals in plants like calcium and magnesium. Those are alkaline minerals. And then what is the opposite of those minerals? The answer is phosphorus. That's an acid mineral. And what's the best source of phosphorus? Meat. So vegetables and a little piece of meat together gives you a good balance and of pH for your body. Okay, and I wrote that here. Eating too many plants, too much alkaline minerals, balance that with acidic minerals like phosphorus from meat. Now the most acidic food is grains. And in our United States, we eat way too many grains and then we get way too acidic and that's the main mechanism of chronic disease being acidosis because of the grains. So that's why I've only purchased five loaves of bread in 17 years. I don't want to get the acid forming um, grains in my body plus there's other reasons. Okay, so when you're alkaline, you get deposits of calcium in your soft tissue. Kidney stones, gallstones, tartar on your teeth, arthritis in your joints, heel pain um, would be one of the first signs, and then excess saliva is another sign of too much, uh, too alkaline. Now here's a cool thing about working with the human body. You can treat acidosis and alkalosis at the same time. You can supply the nutrients for both, and the body works it out the way it wants to work it out. When I talk about the pH here, I'm talking about the blood. And there's different parts of the body that have different pHs. The stomach's different than the small intestine, which is different than the large intestine, which is different than the saliva. And there's a real loose connection between the saliva pH and the blood pH. And I'll do a video on this, but if you have your, your saliva pH is above 7.5, and then, or if your saliva pH is below 5.5, you're going to be too alkaline or too acid. I'll do a full video on that. So there you go. That's the second most common mechanism of chronic disease. And the solutions would be Calamo and fast food. Those are two supplements from Standard Process. They had this figured out way back prior to World War II. And those products are still for sale today. Fast, fast food and Calamo. Those are very acidifying supplements and I've seen them break up stones very quickly. I have a video on how to break up stones, how to salvage your gallbladder. Just go through my history on, on the videos. Alright, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, thanks.